Thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to world wonder ring stardom. Today, I'm covering the unprecedented post-Rossi era of stardom and the inevitable departure of multiple wrestlers in the coming months. I will be discussing some of my observations, including wrestlers who have a higher likelihood of leaving stardom behind and therefore are people we should be keeping an eye on these days. It is to stardom's credit that the first wave of shows in the wake of founder Rossi Ogawa's firing have been packed with entertainment, intrigue, professionalism, and lots of fun. More than that, the experimental live stream this past weekend on the February 25th show in Utsunomiya indicates that the promotion has an interest in expanding its visibility and deepening its connection with audiences. This is the second live broadcast in the span of a week that featured a much earlier start time than the normal pay-per-views, making accessibility for Western fans hard to overstate. In spite of these positive strides, let's not ignore the writing that is still on the wall. The stardom roster will be changing on us, though we don't know how drastically. What we do know is that there's always room for wild speculation. So let's get into a little bit of that. If you find these transmissions valuable, please give this a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. A large chunk of the recent stardom discussion has centered on Julia, and for good reason. Julia is expected to be leaving stardom behind as her contract is seemingly expiring this March. Her post-match promo with Natsuko Tora on February 17th, which became surprisingly emotional, hinted at Julia's departure as well. With Julia rumored to be helping Rossi Ogawa launch his brand new company, it seems worthwhile to ponder those who are close to Julia and see if we notice anything interesting. Enter Mai Sakurai, who has had a very curious month in the aftermath of Rossi Ogawa's firing. Actually, let's first jump back to January 4th of this year, when Julia's faction DDM officially disbanded. Mai Sakurai declared that she would, quote, follow Julia, a statement that in retrospect, implies more than we were initially aware of. Mai Sakurai as a character remains without a faction and has notably stopped doing her signature ladyship promos, which were a gigantic part of her work in 2023. Those promos had become so frequent that Sakurai would serve them up after both match wins and losses. In terms of match performance, Sakurai's record, according to Cage Match, has gotten grim since Rossi's firing. She lost a tag match alongside Sayaka Kurara, was involved in a double countout against Oedo Tai, notably lost a singles match against Yuna Mizumori, who hardly often gets wins on her own, then lost her New Blood Tag Challenge and was just about the least featured wrestler in that match, on top of completely dropping the Her Ladyship gimmick. And then she lost a triple threat match in which she was tapped out to a submission from Mei Sarah. In general, Mai Sakurai has either abandoned or downsized the usage of last year's character traits, including her lavish hats, custom currency, and Mike performances. She has no momentum in terms of joining a faction, challenging for another belt, or working any promos with other characters in the company. Her only tether to stardom at all right now is her presence in the upcoming Cinderella tournament, which can be easily canceled out by an early elimination from said tournament. This more or less looks like an effort by Bushi Road to diminish her profile enough to make a departure from the company less impacting 
though I admit I'm leaning heavily on conjecture here. That being said, another wrestler I've been wondering about is Momo Watanabe of Oedotai. As far as I know, she has made no comment about the situation involving Rossi Ogawa and Stardom. She is also not participating in this year's Cinderella tournament, though the same can be said for a lot of people. Momo has one remaining link to the company, as far as I can see, which is a nebulous interest in challenging Micah for the red belt. This match can take place at some point during the Cinderella tournament itself, and beyond that, nothing about Momo's recent matches or social media comments indicate that Bushi Road and New Stardom have any big plans for her moving forward. She's also a bit boxed out by her own faction members, sitting in a weird spot between Natsuko Tora and Starlight Kid. Momo is still very young and has plenty of time to establish herself in another company. I'm going to look very hard at the trends of these recent matches and search for any signs pointing to who is staying with stardom and who is going away. I think the Cinderella tournament itself will be even more intriguing within the context of these inevitable shakeups coming to the roster. Who is on your radar this year when it comes to wrestlers who may be leaving stardom behind? Any theories are welcome. If you found this transmission valuable, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.